So when I won my first Grammy Award in 2015, it was just a year after Prime Minister Modi had become the Prime Minister. And uh, so on that international stage where over a billion people from all over the world were watching the Grammy Awards, I had actually given a shout out to him and I mentioned it during my acceptance speech, a big thank you to him. And I said that he's doing such amazing work for India. And uh, then after that, uh, of course, I really wanted to meet him and I was really delighted that I got a call from his office and, you know, and I got to actually meet the Honorable Prime Minister. And I had actually assumed that uh, this would be just a very short photo op type meeting, you know, like just about four or five minutes. But it actually went on to becoming an hour long discussion. So it was a great experience. And uh, of course, he inspired me during that meeting uh, to ensure that every piece of music that I make is about what I'm passionate about, which is the environment and positive social impact. So he has been a huge influence on my life because he changed the course of my career and he changed the course of my life. Because now I do not make any commercial music. I do not do Bollywood music. The only kind of music that I make is about trying to make this world a better place and trying to showcase our beautiful heritage, our beautiful culture of India. And that's what my life is all about now. He realized that my passion is the environment and of course, I realized that his huge passion is the environment and nature and protecting and conserving all species. So uh, he had mentioned to me that the Honorable Prime Minister had mentioned to me that he's going to be going to the COP21, that is the Paris Climate Change uh, Conference later that year. And that was the biggest conference of nations ever in the history of our planet. And he mentioned what his speech is going to be about. He told me that he is going to be launching the Solar Alliance, which was something that is very, very close to my heart. So while we were discussing, uh, we came up with the suggestion that, you know, that I make an album uh, which is about climate change, which is about India's perspectives on climate change, involving musicians, making it very diverse, making it very inclusive, musicians from all over the world. So I ended up making this album called Shanti Samsara, uh, which featured 500 musicians from 40 countries. Our Honorable Prime Minister loved the album and he actually launched the album at the Paris Climate Change Conference by gifting the album to the Honorable President of France, the then pre President of France, that is François Hollande, and the then Secretary General of the United Nations, that is uh, Ban Ki-moon.